Here's your real estate update for September 2021. One thing I noticed this summer was the amount of cross-provincial travel. Travel was definitely a priority for a lot of people. It was actually a great thing to see everybody kind of discovering our own country again. And I think actually it's because Canadians felt that there was this small window in which travel was actually going to be allowed. And now it kind of seems almost like there's a vibe that uh, things are going to get locked down again as they are in Australia. So how did this affect our real estate market? Well, the Fraser Valley had 30% above normal sales for the month of August and the housing shortage hasn't actually been this bad since the 1980s. Stats for the White Rock area for detached. Sales were up 12.8% since July. Active listings were down 20% from July and the median price went from 1.480 to 1.65 million. And that's month over month. Townhome sales were down 1.4%, active listings were down 19%, and the median price went from 800,000 to 855,000 month over month. And even condos saw a bit of a change. Um, they had sales go up by 2%, active listings went down 25%, and their median price went from 528,000 to 551,000. No doubt, both buyers and sellers put the need to travel at the forefront of their needs and put real estate on the back burner. But the buyers who were actually really serious about finding a home or wanted to take advantage of the low interest rates, they're the ones who drove our market. The public knows now that even in a lockdown, real estate will still be considered an essential service and our industry is going to be accessible if needed. I get the strong sense that many sellers are actually waiting for vacations to end and for school to officially begin before listing their home. And all the buyers out there who suffered from buyer's fatigue have now rested and are ready to get back in the game. Trend alert, after the summer we just had, 42 degrees on the west coast, pretty unheard of. I suspect that a lot of people are going to be putting air conditioning at the top of their list of wants. So if you're looking to do a home improvement that will actually increase the value of your home for years to come and something that you can actually enjoy in the meantime, put in AC. And with all the cross Canada trouble we saw this summer, we might actually see a migration between provinces. If companies continue to allow us to work productively from home, we might see people cash out and move to areas that are just more affordable. On the flip side, we might see some people who were frustrated with the lockdowns in their province and move to British Columbia that has more outdoor activities available to them year round. Insights on housing affordability. In 2016, the government implemented a 20% foreign buyer's tax, and in 2018, new mortgage stress test rules. Yet here we are five years later, and the detached housing market has notably gone up. For some areas, almost 50%. Due to the pandemic, we had a near perfect bubble of only local buyers and mortgage rates that came down even lower. So those measures that were supposed to make housing more affordable didn't address the core issue of housing shortage and population growth. So really what we need to think about is supporting development and supporting businesses that allow their employees to work from home. So those people can live in more affordable areas. It just makes good economic sense. Our roads will need less maintenance, insurance rates will come down, and most importantly, people will have a better work-life balance if they're not commuting. Also, if people can live in more affordable areas, they don't have to live with that constant stress of being mortgage poor, especially when 90% of your mortgage is actually going to the land that your house is sitting on. As always, thanks for watching and don't be shy to reach out if you have any questions. Cheers.